the first thing we're going to do is start with some free software that we're going to need for the course. It's called WinSCP. It is a free download and uh, you should be able to download that and install it on your home PC. Now the way we are going to do it here at the college, we have a, a new site that we'll choose when you go to log in and the protocol will be SFTP. That's a secure file transfer protocol. That's just what we'll be using, so you have to change that. The host machine will be cis4.fmcc.edu, unless I tell you otherwise. And the port number will be 10922. We just changed that for no apparent reason at all. Now, the username I'm using is test B. That's just what I'm calling it. You'll have a different username. When I click on advanced, you'll see what we're going to have to add here. We have to go into authentication. We've got a, a, a little a little work that we have to do here in terms of logging in. We need, a, we need a passphrase, but we also need a file. So under authentication, we're going to click browse over here to hit to get that file. And my file is going to be named testb.ppk because my user account is testb. And you'll see that PPK stands for Putty Private Key File. So we'll take that file and we'll um, we'll use that as the private key file. So you need the file, but you also need the passphrase. So after I hit OK and click on Login, you'll see there's a passphrase that you need. In other words, a password if you want to think of it that way. Um, so there's two things you need, not just the passphrase, you also need the file. And when you get in there, you'll find that you're in a folder called whatever your username is beneath the home folder. That's the way it's set up on a Linux server. And I currently have some stuff here just to show you, but in fact, you normally uh, you'll log in, you'll have nothing really there. One of the things I want to do is keep people organized. Now I have in here a public underscore HTML folder. You'll have that. You'll need it, and you'll have stuff in there. You know, other folders. We're actually. Um, it will depend on what course you're in, whether or not we have an extra folder called CIS uh, called 160, or whether we don't have that. But it doesn't matter at this point. You'll create a directory in your local disk. See now I have a drive E, my my real important stuff folder. Underneath, underneath that I have a CIS 160A. You'll create a directory there, and you'll put on and that directory is called another word for folder, and you will create a folder with a date. Now I chose January 1st, 2020. It's already gone by, of course, but um, it's got a four-digit year, a two-digit month, and a two-digit day. That's what we want to create. That way we'll, we'll have a whole bunch of them over the course of the semester. And what we're going to do is we're going to enter that folder on the uh, left and uh, we'll have whatever we have on the right, public HTML. This is what you're typically going to see, a folder with your name in the middle of home and public HTML, and that's where we're going to want to grab that stuff. But in this example, I'm going to take all the stuff from the public underscore HTML, and I'll be inside the 2020-0101 folder. And what I'll do is I'll right-click on it, choose Download, and then choose Download right here, and that will put all that stuff there. That way, I have a snapshot of what my public HTML looks like on that particular date. That's what we're going to be looking for. Now sometimes we'll be doing work locally and then we'll have to upload it to the server. That's the opposite of what I've just shown here. But here's the rub. First time out, you're going to get a file that's going to be called whatever your username is without an extension. So when we go in to get the new site, we change the SFTP and we put the port and all that, we go to advance and we hit browse, first thing we're going to look for are PPK files and we're not going to see them. There's not going to be anything there. So we'll change that to all files and that's when you'll see the test B file or whatever your user account name is. And it will say, do you want to convert this to uh, the PuTTY format? And you'll say, okay at which point it will ask you for that pass, passphrase. So you'll put that passphrase in and then you'll, it'll say, hey, let's save this as a PPK file and you'll say OK. So this is a one-time deal that you do on the first time we, we uh, log in. After that, you'll already have this uh, saved PPK file. And then you'll use that just as you did already 
just as I already shown you will log in you will enter your passphrase and you'll be there now let's remember left equals local right equals remote so L and R the local is your disk whatever you've got there and the remote is the server and you're gonna go back and forth sometimes you'll be putting stuff from the local disk onto the server if it's work we just did in class sometimes you might want to make a backup of it in which case you'll take from the server and put it on the local either way that's how it's gonna work